All right, this one's going to be on Abbey Word, and if you never used Abbey Word before, it's a word processor, kind of like uh, Microsoft Word, but uh, we're not going to talk about, you know, what it can do. We're just going to talk about this one thing that we're going to do in Abbey Word here, and you can actually change it to use different modes. So the default mode, if you ever use Microsoft Office Word, pretty much the same thing as that. However, uh, you can use it with um, Emacs hotkeys or Vim hotkeys, so you can toggle between them real quick if you want to do that. And so let me demonstrate this out here. Right now, if you look at the bottom here, uh, it says V Edit, right on your right side, the bottom here of Abbey Word. So it says V Edit, and that means we can use uh, V hotkeys, aka Vim hotkeys, all right? So if I use, uh, you know, J to go down, I can do that. K to go up, and what was the other one? Uh, dollar sign to go all the way to the end of the line, zero at the beginning, and if I want to delete this line right here, um, I can go DD, and it deletes it, and if I want to go into um, insert mode, I hit I, and there you go, we're in insert mode, and we can you know, type this out, and back to normal, hit escape, and now I can move around, you know, back and forth like that. Uh, once you're tired of that or whatever, uh, you can go to escape here and go back to normal mode. And you can see, right now we're in edit mode here, but if you hit F12, you can see that it says now it's default mode. So the default is basically normally what you can do with a word processor, uh, you know, like LibreOffice, Microsoft Office, and everywhere, same shit. Um, if you hit F12 again, it'll toggle it to Emacs. And now you can hit your Emacs hotkey. So I think Emacs is Control N to go to the next line, P to go to previous line, right? And um, what is that? If I wanted to go a word forward, I go Control F uh, to go one character forward. I mean, Control B to go backwards. Anyways, I'm not really good at Emacs, so there you go. You can use Emacs hotkeys with that. Uh, once you get tired of that, you can hit the F12, and then you go back to uh, V Edit here. And once you hit the uh, I, you can see that the bottom here says uh, V input, and that means you're in insert mode, and you can type shit out if you want, okay? And then uh, DD out that. Um, so that's how you change to different modes. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because um, there's a lot of plugins for Vim, but most of it is for like coding and stuff like that. Even the notes program, they don't have any way to highlight uh, the words. And I really needed that for, um, you know, taking notes at class or whatever. Because I don't want to be typing out fucking syntax for uh, latex or any of these other shitty, um, you know, what you see is what you want commands or whatever, right? So that's why I wanted to use a word processor because I can just, you know, highlight this sucker. And I usually want to uh, highlight a word in red or something so I can remember, oh, I needed to know that for the test or whatever, right? And I can do that faster with a word processor than typing out shitty uh, either HTML codes or wiki codes or latex or whatever the fuck it is. Um, and it's not really good. I mean, they do have, you know, colors, but those are for more for like uh, syntax uh, highlighting for coding, but not for like normal note taking. So that's why you want to use uh, regular Vim and some shitty plugins. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using this for with a word processor and it still has my Vim hotkey so I can still live with it. Uh, not the best solution but if you have a, a better solution let me know. Anyways, end of that rant. Uh, so how do you set this sucker up to you know, hit the hotkey to toggle that shit? Pretty easy. It depends on uh, you know, which operating system you use because every word is cross platform. It works with Mac, Windows, Linux. BSDs and all that so you know look for it in your uh, operating system but if you're using Linux um, it should be if you're using the older version it should be in your home folder it's called Abby suit and the, 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 the file that you want to edit is this Abby word profile if you're using I think version 3 and higher then you want to go into your config Abby word and you want to edit this uh, file called profile so that's what we're going to do here. And in here, the Abbey Word uh, folder, 
you can see that it has this profile file here and all you gotta do is bust out your editor whatever you want to use I'm gonna use Vim here and the thing that you want to look for is um, it'll say scheme here right and it'll say name equals custom and that's the line that you want to use all you gotta do is add in this line only right this line right here key binding cycle equals one and this is the line that will allow you to hit F12 to cycle between the modes uh, so right now the default mode is vEdit whatever mode that you ended at uh, when you close off Abbey Word it's automatically going to save in here so if you ended with uh, you know Vim mode then it'll say vEdit if you ended with um, the default mode then it will actually delete this line if you ended with Emacs then this one will change to Emacs and so on and so forth uh, once you exit the Abbey Word program. So that's all you gotta do is just add this line in there and then hit F12 and it'll cycle between the modes, all right? Uh, so that's all you gotta do for that. Anyways, that's Abbey Word with Vim mode, uh, Emacs mode, or the default mode toggling between them. That'll be it for this one.